somebody mad. I, I can see some father's mad. Some mama with a wig on, she mad because I done talked about Junebug. Somebody mad because I done talked about Shay Shay. Somebody mad because I done talked about your little nasty daughter. Somebody mad because I talked about your son with all this potential. He or she could be something if you step out of the picture and let God have his way in their life. I'm talking about who's afraid of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost can get a hold of them and change them, get them back into high school, get their GED. The Holy Ghost can put them in technical school. The Holy Ghost put them in the army. Let God. I don't like it. He hurt my feelings. Somebody needs to hurt our feelings. If it's gonna wake us up from slumber, hurt my feelings. If it's gonna deliver me from being an addict, hurt my feelings. If it's gonna make me responsible for the five seed that I've sown in the earth, hurt my feelings. You got five babies all over town and you won't pay child support for one of them. You need to be in jail. You need to be in jail. You need to be in jail. I said it in front of your mother, your father, your grandmother, your granddaddy, all your family. You need to be in jail. Shooting seed and won't raise it. That ain't white folk fault. That's your fault. Baby, if your child 14 or 15, and you sending out golden boss invitations to a baby shower. Do you know the message that you're sending? We don't celebrate that. I don't care who you are. We don't celebrate babies born and they have not been born in marriage. We celebrate the life once it gets here because every child is blessed. There's no such thing as a cursed seed or a bad seed. But we don't celebrate with a baby shower. Your child's a teenager and you have a baby shower? What kind of message are you sending that child? I want her to have everything, everyone else. Then you should have waited. If that offends you, there's the door. Go back to your own church where they let that mess happen. You ain't written this book now for that kind of garbage. And what does it do to the younger, to the younger daughters? You got younger children looking at that mess. You let it happen with the first one, the second one happens. It happens with the second one. It happens again with the, sec the first one again. Then the third child happens with the third child. I just feel that, no, that's the problem. Stop feeling. Get back to this. You mean to tell me if something happened with none of your three children, would you make it? No, it's none of your business. I ain't gonna let that, I'm not gonna make no announcement. I'm gonna cover my child. But I ain't gonna have no shower celebrating what's wrong. And I'm going to make the young man pay support because that child is valuable and that child is worth and that child has dignity and I want that child to become all that that child has been born to become. Somebody help me give God some praise. Now listen, stop right there. I need every man to lift your hand. Every man stand up. Every man, every man, every man. Women sit down for me. Every man stand up. Every man stand up. Don't let a judge have to tell you what you know to do yourself. If, the, if, your, if your child support payment is $50, you pay $65. That's what I teach here. Because that child did not ask to get here. I don't know how I got in this, on this neighborhood. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost and trying to get the power of the Holy Ghost in our homes and why we're so wrecked and how come we're least behind in everything, least behind in health, least behind in wealth, m m m maturity, least behind economically. I understand racism. I understand slavery. I understand that I went to Princeton. I know how racism can be. I grew up in the suburbs. I know how wicked racism can be. I've been stopped by, because I'm black on the turnpike. I know. Trust me, I know. But also know that when you get the real Holy Ghost, at some point you got to get under a word so you know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and you got to do what's right because you know in your heart what is right to do.